going like this. Literally, I've just got a leopard print t-shirt on, some fluffy um, trousers and some socks and my hair like this. Literally, I don't feel great, so yeah, I'm going to go So this is the outfit I've got on. It's a close up one. The socks, it's a bit chilly outside, so, but yeah, let's go. So I'm just walking out of my front door now. I'm just going to shut the door behind me. I'm walking to the car park, to my car. As you can hear, it's me walking on the gravel. And just, there's my car. Just in my car. And I'm going to go to Tesco now, sorry about this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go and get some blueberries and some, some other bits, some healthy bits. But yeah. So we're going to go to Tesco, have a little trip down Tesco Lane. It is a bit dark, it's a bit cold actually now. Um, it's that time of night where it gets dark, where it gets chilly. So we are going to go to Tesco. So I just pulled up at Tesco and now we're going to go to Tesco. So I'm going to get out my car now and do it. I look so rough. I don't know why, it must be the lighting. Um, but I'm gonna go to Tesco and get my stuff and I will show you when I get back. Look at all the Christmas stuff. I need this. Yes, it's got out. So I've just got my out of Tesco and it's got really dark now. Really dark actually. Look, um, didn't get a lot, just got a few bits. So, so I am gonna drive home now and I will show you what I got when I get home so yeah not a lot but yeah we'll see you in a bit so I am just getting my sweet potatoes into the bowl firstly I need to get the oil as usual I always forget that then I am going to get my bag of sweet potatoes trying to put them into the bowl but as you can see they're really frozen tonight i don't know why i have them nearly every night so i get a few out of my um bag as you see i'm struggling here bang it on the on the surface keep banging <laughs> trying to get a few more out look at that big piece there jesus so i'm just going to roll it in the oil as you can see keep rolling there's so much ice on that big block there. I'm going to break it. Really struggling there. Ouch. Really hurt my finger then. I'm going to keep rolling it. Then I'm going to go to the sink. And I'm going to wash my hands with washing up liquid with hot water. Because oil can stay. And then wash, dry my hands with it on the tea towel. As you can see. And then I'm putting the oil away. Then I'm going to go to the air fryer at this point where I am figuring out what. Now I put them in here. So I'm just going to that to 200. Put them on for right there. 200 then for 10 minutes. I just pull them in here. to let them go in the air fryer for a bit and get my chicken out of the bag here we go touch it ew i hate chicken literally get some scissors now and i'm gonna cut out all of the red bloody bits and the horrible little gooey bits i don't like on my chicken you see be careful when you are using scissors as well if you are thinking of using scissors, get an adult or someone old enough to use scissors. So I'm just cutting it here, as you can see. Be careful of your fingers as well, because I've done that multiple times where I've chopped tip of my finger and bled. Just making sure it's all off. Then I get my bowl 
and I am going to get my seasoning barbecue one actually really like it actually yeah it's one of my favourites so I always have it on my chicken every, every time so then I just tear the little bit off and then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the barbecue seasoning onto my chicken keep doing that then I'll just put that bit to a side and mix it together as you can see and then I'm going to do the other side now season that little bit on keep going little tap make sure it comes out so then so then do that then I'm going to um, just roll it all into the bowl because it's loads of seasoning there so yep make sure all the seasoning is onto your chicken look like that so I'll do that for like five ten minutes and then sometimes I will leave that on the side for ten minutes for it to marinate it's better if you can do that actually because the seasoning will soak in I'm just gonna wash my hands now I am just getting the um, sweet potatoes out of the air fryer now because they're all done so then put them in a bowl and I'm just going to put them then I put my chicken in I will cook my chicken now into the air fryer for about 20 minutes so I'm just doing that do 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 then I'm just going to wash my hands because I've touched raw chicken again do, 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 do. then I'm going to dry my hands as you can see then I'm going to get my dinner now so the chicken is all done then I'll put the air fryer back and then Then I'm going to get my sweet potatoes out the microwave, put them with my chicken. As you can see, put the bowl into the sink. Then I'm going to get my knife and fork. I always do this, make sure my chicken is cooked. I've got a very massive fear that my chicken isn't cooked. So I always cut it in half, so I, as you can see. And I will stick my tongue on it, like that. So after I've done that, I'll just mix all my together as you can see and I'm going to show you my dinner now how it looks it looks small but it was really filling actually really nice so here we go here's me just showing you what I've got for my dinner so I'm literally just tidying up my room now I'm just moving all the stuff off my bed flattering my pillows and I'm going to give it a shake in a minute. Don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm just getting my other pillow now. Put it on the other side. Then I'm going to shake this duvet. Literally give it a good shake. There we go. And then I will flatten it a little bit. Then I'm just walking around the bed. Flatten it at the bottom. Oh, piggy boo! And then I just do the little corners there. Then I'm showing you my rabbit pillows. I like these ones. I just got some Christmas ones now. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna get another pillow, and this is this is more like an autumn pillow. I like that one. I put them on my bed, as you can see. And then I'm going to get my little blanket. This one's a nice autumn one, actually. I fold it in half. And we'll throw it across the bed. As you can see, I'll shake it. There we go. Give it a shake. And it's not as tidy as I want, so I will come on the other side. And give it a little pull. There it is. And make it all nice there it is there we go then 
that is my bed all made. The bed all made. And now I've just got to tidy all this now. Yeah. So I'm just going to literally pot around now, so you'll probably see me clean this dirty thing. Here, show you. So I'm just going to move you over here so you can see. Right there. Oh god. So I'm literally going to clean my dresser out. Actually, maybe I'll take you down a little bit more so you can see me actually clean. So you'll probably see me clean this now. And that is how I clean my dresser. I'll show you how shiny it is. This is how shiny it is. Um, clean, all tidy. There's all the perfumes. So now I'm just gonna clean everything out. I bought some chocolate from Tesco and I literally just bought the Maltese chocolate, the Maltese Ringer. I thought that was cute. I bought a Kinder one. Bless me, sorry. Um, a Kinder one. I like this one. And then I bought some coins. So, yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. I've literally got, oh god, I've got so much. So, let me show you. I've got two bags down here of um, a haul that I need to do from like B&M's and Home Bargains, but I've not had five minutes to do it yet. Five minutes just to do it. But anyway. Right. Got this chair just full of like, stuff as well. That can just go like that. Ooh. I'm just going to put my chair in here so it's nice right have this up in the wardrobe I'll actually show you my wardrobe so this is how messy my wardrobe is it go it's from here all the way down and then it goes all the way back there but it's not but i might do a organization wardrobe with you guys so that will be coming soon as well get all rid of like the summer stuff and put all like the winter stuff in like i need to get my blankets my socks my slippers out it's just so messy in there so what i'm saying here is i'm just gonna put all my clothes away quickly 
so I'm not going to chat to you. As you can see, I'm just putting my clothes away really quickly here. So then I'm going to be showing you my boots in a minute. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, still putting some clothes away. Literally still putting my clothes away. I have so many work tops. Here's some boots that I found in my wardrobe. Oh, a couple of weeks back when it was raining. They've got leather things on. So I really like them. So I'm just putting them away quickly. As you can see, I'm struggling trying to find space. And this is how bad, messy it is. It's so unorganised. I just thought I'd probably do it this weekend. So yeah, so now we're going to go on to my PJs now. So yeah, best, best PJs. I literally, I don't know what this is. My, this is my PJ drawer. I, that needs sorting as well. But just not a chance so we're gonna put my pjs away so i'm literally gonna put all my pjs away now so i literally don't do a lot with my pjs i literally just shove them in the drawer so yeah oh and my underwear underwear girls know better i won't show you that because I like, I would like to put all my PJs in like sets, so then <laughs> it'd be a lot easier to um, find a PJ set and still, instead of having it to match PJs on all the time. So yeah, so, this is a flannel for when I do my skincare, but yeah, that's another, that's, an, that's going in the bathroom. Oh yes, but yeah. Right, right there, I'll be a PJ top, and a PJ top, and I just shove it in. My leggings as well. Oh, that won't shove, don't know why. I'm going into my legging drawer. I have so much. Literally. These are all my PJs. I have so And I know for a fact I'm going to burn on. So now I'm just gonna clean all this. It's literally, uh, yeah, it's so messy. I've got to like put the towels, sort all that out. So, yeah. So I'm literally just at the towel bit sorting my towels out because I have so many. I have to bend down because you can't see me. But yeah, so I'm literally just put the towels where they need to be. Oh, out. So yeah so messy because my bathroom is so small it's so easily to just chuck everything on the floor <laughs> so yeah, just so 
So now I'm at my sink area, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a tidy. Put them away. And then I'm gonna just gonna give my sink a little bit of a clean. But yeah. Because it's just got so much stuff. I'm just gonna go into this pen. I'm just gonna get a nice fresh one on. night time and a nightmare i drink tea but i don't drink them all at night so i leave half of them but the rest of them away <laughs> I've literally got like two magazines of what skincare I use. So it's a Christmas one. I know, quite excited. <gasps> I'm gonna put them away. Don't really need them actually. Oh, just put my chargers away. Just because we don't need them on show. At the moment. My phone charger. So yeah. Just put them away really safe really yeah but yeah i finished my room it's all nice and tidy now for now until i do the big deep clean at the weekend that's my bathroom now all nice and clean the shower needs cleaning but i'll sort that out another day so literally i'm in the bathroom now and i'm going to be doing my skincare now so i'm going to cleanse my face with the estee lauder face i wet my face first so wet that first actually let's do this I'll just, just rub it on my face like this. So, yeah. so I'll wash it off. 
to the planner. Don't make the water too hot either because sometimes you if you have it too hot. Make sure it's all on off. So then I'm gonna go in with a exfoliator now. Um where is it? Okay. I'm gonna go in with a um, Tropic Exfoliator. I really like it. Um so yeah, so I literally just have a little bit of that in, a bit of Tropic and then rub it in. And it's not too hard either. Well, if you do all that, ah, my skin. There you go. Oh, too hot. Uh, literally just wash that off. I only exfoliate twice or once a week if I do. I don't exfoliate a lot. Yeah. Make sure it's not too hot either. You don't want it too hot. Make sure you've got it all off. Yeah. Then after that I'm going to go in with another deep cleansing by Tropic, um, use a lot of this and oh, I literally use that and I will, it's a powder so you put water in it then it just goes into like this and rub it where the areas are more prone to spot or if you've got large pores so that's what I'm doing is just rub it really not too harsh a bit where I know that looks a scary doesn't it yeah so. then you just rub it off Sure it's all off. I always, I always do it like a double. I always do a double cleanse. I don't know why. Then just get my tab off, and I literally just dab your face. Don't rub. Never rub your face. Always damp it. Yeah. So that is me doing my skincare in the bathroom. What I do. So now you've joined me at my dresser. So what I do is I'm going to just turn on my mirror. Make sure my skin is all perfect. Then I will just go in with my toner. And I will literally just spray it. I love it so much. So it's going to dry. Then I get my, this is my little, let me show you, my little skincare stuff. This is a bag from Shark Tilbury actually. So yeah. So then I will get my stuff that I need. So I'm going to put on some Eye Dream Night Cream. Um, yeah, literally, I love it. So I just... Put a bit on my eyes. Yeah, no. It's 
yeah. When I put eye cream on, I make I do I open my mouth and I don't I don't know why. So yeah, I don't know why I open my mouth. I think it's like when you have mascara. I know people make weird make weird noises or weird um do weird stuff with their. I know someone who put when they put mascara on, they pull their tongue out. So yeah, so when I put my eye cream, on, I open my mouth. I don't know why. Um, so then I'm going to go in with some serums and I'm going to use this one, Fruit Peel. Not got a lot of left of this one actually. Um, I do really like this one. So I, I literally just pat it in. I know people rub it but I always pat, really pat it like firmly into my skin. I can feel it stinging but it's maybe a good sting i don't know but it will sting a little bit so yeah so that is that one let that one dry and then i will go in with um the last serum um super green um so with my moisturiser and super green is a good one if you have oily skin or skin textures that you don't like um, so I use this every night when it's the winter because I get really bad dryness uh, especially under my eyes near my nose where it shows where you're tiredness so yeah so I literally just get this and my moisturizer, but firstly, I will pump one or two pumps on here, get that hair away, and I will want to three, three drops, rub it in like that. Uh, oh god, and then I will just dab it in, literally just dab it in. Always go down your neck as well. I know a lot of people forget about their necks so literally behind your ears as well so so yeah so that is what I do and then because I have really bad scarring at the minute from spots from like the summer or year from years ago I have really bad scarring so I put this balm on it's a mini one, I've got the mini one. I want to say it's called Tama Tamari Balm. I don't know how you say it, but I use so much of it, literally. Oh God, it's got hair, I've got hair everywhere. So I literally just put a bit on where you want it. So I, I put it on each cheek and I just rub it in, I rub it in on my chin it helps a lot i think on my on my hair on my nose people use it just as a moisturizer actually but i don't <laughs> i don't i use it so yeah so yeah cool. and then after that i will get in my nivea lip balm Oh my god, there's so many fries. So many fries. And I just... I have really dry lips as well. It's really bad. So yeah. So that is my skincare as well, what I do. Right night time. So yeah. So I'm literally just sat on my bed putting my slippers on now to go downstairs because my feet were cold that night. Just made my daughter to go outside to do her business. She doesn't like getting her paws wet as you can see. She's doing it very quick there. Oh, it's a bit dark. Is my dog will just sleep here now all night? My, I just watch a bit of YouTube and my favourite 
Christmas film. If you've not watched this, you really need to if you want a feel good Christmas film because I love it. I've watched it so many times. I just love the story. I think it's amazing. But yeah, I'm going to leave now um, and I will see you in my next video. So, good night guys. Thank you.